So I went on a solo trip for the first time to two cities, Portland, Oregon and Denver, Colorado. I traveled before like with my family, been out the country one time, but this is the first time doing it on my own. Went to Portland for a Formula E race and Denver because it was on my short list of cities that I might move to once I graduate in like a little under a year. And the reason I'm talking to you like this and not like in the vlog talking to the camera in the moment is because I just forgot to do it. Literally like 99% of the time I'll record a few like b-roll type clips and then it would just leave my mind for like three four hours. Hey man I'm in the bed with all the colors but I forgot to record when I went to eat. I went in a vintage store, I went in a different vintage store, and then a second street and a crossroads, which was like consignment shops. And I, like, I, I, I'll show you the clip of the one vintage store that was just absurdly large. My phone died in the middle of it, but it was just, a, it was just large. And I'm like, I didn't sleep last night for, I just couldn't sleep. But that's okay. Cause I was reading Ecclesiastes, bro. Chapter 1, verse 7, that hit me like a truck. And then I think it was verse 9, my mom always says nothing new under the sun. And when it said that, I was losing my mind. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times she said that. I'm like, well, is this what she was talking about the whole time? I just never knew. But yeah, th this is how large that, that store was. I didn't have the mental capacity to really, like, really look in there. I, I ain't going back. So I get to Portland, didn't sleep the night before, dropped my stuff off at the BMV. There was a lot of stuff, like a lot of stores and restaurants, like a lot near the BMV. and I wasn't like in downtown or anything either. And I had to wait, I think it was like three hours between when I got there initially to when I could actually check in and be in the place. I didn't even expand on what I was talking about with Ecclesiastes, because the verse was saying that essentially everything is a cycle. And I was writing in my notes like, literally everything like cycles of like desires and like temptations and like it's all just endless and it's like there's never gonna be like a satisfaction point that's enough and it, the, the verse is actually very simple it was I don't have my bible like right next to me right now but it essentially said that water flows from the river to the ocean and then the water gets back to the river and the cycle repeats is essentially what it said in the NLT version, at least. I don't know about the other versions, but yeah. I don't know why that just, it just reading that put together like a lot of stuff all at once. And now with this day two for the Formula E race, if you don't know how a race weekend works, or this is really like a race day, because the way Formula E does it, it's all in one, but they'll have free practice, qualifying, and then the race. So with this double headed situation, it was like free practice, qualifying race on Saturday and then on Sunday was another free practice another qualifying and another race Long story short though, Nissan didn't do great. All of around, that's like their, that's their best driver, Sasha Francis is the second driver, and then their rookie, I forgot bro's name, I can't even lie, but he, he was a rookie, I'm pretty sure it was only his second race, so I'm like, yeah, you can't really expect. He did overtake a good amount of people, he just ended up losing the positions for whatever reason, so I'm like, you know, it is what it is. Thing, I ended up walking across a good amount of the city, just going, just like finding random stores like vintage stores to walk into or just I saw Arcteric stores I didn't know they had actual stores walked in there I saw this shoe called a crag 
I don't know what that means, but it looked kind of cool. But yeah. Or there was an on store, like the on shoe brand. And yeah, if it weren't for the chaotic homeless situation, like on, even on US standards, on West Coast, like LA standards, it's still like pretty bad. I probably would live there, but with the way it is, I, I don't think I will. Unless God is just like, yeah, that's the place for you. I'm like, all right, if you say so, I will go. But if not, I have no problem with it. But around the time when I was starting to plan this trip, it was like January. At like the similar time, I started getting a lot closer to God and going from just like lukewarm to like fully giving my life to Christ and like reading the Bible more than like once every few months type of thing. It's like I was in church as a kid, but I wasn't fully a believer. So it wasn't, the teachings weren't getting me as they would now. The other place I was thinking of is Tacoma in Washington. Think of like Seattle, about 20 minute drive south of that. It's roughly where it is, but I didn't go there on this trip. Two cities was a stretch, three is crazy, so no. And then Denver didn't really record much because I just didn't like it. I, I pretty much moved my flight up a day, but where I moved to is really just what I asked God for direction on, because I don't know. It's also not for like some months after I graduate anyway, but like, yeah, I'd be thinking about that all the time. But yeah, came home. Now I know that I really don't like Denver like that. I don't want to go to the South. That's I know you're probably gonna be like, oh, what about Texas? No. I went there for DreamCon, don't like the humidity. I'm just, I'm good off that. Which, and humidity takes out the entire South as an option. So that's where I'm at with that. Probably gonna be like Northwest, somewhere over there. What I'm thinking as of right now. 